Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be quickly showing you a couple different methods of managing charts and utilizing them on different monitors in the Oanda desktop forex trading platform. So by default, you should have a charting widget or your charting portion of the platform open up in the bottom right hand corner of your screen here. If at any time you'd like to change this contract, you can just left click this drop down menu here and there is a preset list of available contracts. If you don't see the Forex instrument you're looking for, you can just click edit and it will bring up the edit user preferences window. From here, you can just simply add or remove any Forex instruments as you need. So you'll just highlight them, click add, and it'll uh, bring it to that drop down window as you just saw. We can click apply and then save. And now as you can see, we added the Aussie dollar contract down there in the bottom of our drop down list, just like we did in that preferences window. Just a cute couple other things here to mention. You have your time frames up here, and we have uh, different ch chart types uh, following that in the tab next to it. Now, like I said, this video will be covering majority of how to manage charts. So we notice a lot of our traders do use multiple monitors when trading. They're either trading multiple instruments at one time or they have different indicators on different charts and they need to open up and compare different charts at the same time. Wanda Desktop makes this really easy and there's actually a couple of different ways to open them up in different windows, which will allow you to throw them onto another monitor. The most direct method of doing this is simply through this button in the top right here, corner here. This is an open graph in new window. If you left click that, it actually just opened it up on my secondary monitor. But as you can see, I'm dragging it over here it'll open it up in an entirely new window and this acts as its own separate instance so as you may expect with any windows uh, window you can maximize you can minimize and you can close out as you typically would and then all the other features and functions of a window desktop get applied to this window as well as you just saw you can change your instrument time frame type you can adjust margins and the different axes you can add studies Everything pretty much applies universally once you do open it up in another window. Now, I'd also like to show you the advanced charting window. Now, this essentially is the same exact thing. It'll open up the euro versus US dollar contract for us with all the same templates applied. However, with this version, you'll notice this is directly imported straight from Oanda Web. If you're familiar with that, it's also trading views charts. So if you're familiar with trading view, they do look very similar. Now the difference here is you get all of TradingView or Wanda Web's different drawing tools and indicators that they have. There is quite a few more on this, so that is why they designate this as advanced charting. If you aren't already familiar with managing windows and managing charts with the Wanda Web, I suggest you look into that playlist where we do dive in how to add indicators, how to add the different drawing tools, how to change your time, contract, things like that. But again, essentially it, it's pretty much the same. It's just running on the web, on your internet browser, and it's in its own different window here. Same thing pretty much applies, though. You can just come in here, edit your charts as you typically expect, and that window will change. Now, another great thing about Oanda Desktop is the fact that you come here on the left-hand side. You do have all your instruments laid out for you. And to open up a chart, you pretty much just left-click. Now, it did open up in my other monitor, but I did just click the British pound versus US dollar. It opens up a chart in my other window and boom, as you can see, it's the same exact interface as the Orlando web. The same thing we did right here, the detach window and it's opened up its own graph and its own window. So real easy to use multiple monitors with this platform. Again, you do have multiple methods of doing so pretty much just left clicking the instrument you like will open up any available window on the platform and you do have a lot of options. This feature extends across pretty much every widget on the platform, so it just isn't limited to charting. Let's say, for example, you want the main platform on one and you want an account summary widget on the other, just left-click that account summary, it'll pop it out of the platform, and there you have it. You have it in its own separate window. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. Didn't want to get too in-depth with this one, just show you how to manage charts and how to utilize them on multiple monitors. If you found this helpful, feel free to like it up, like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for additional Oanda content. Again, like I briefly mentioned, we do have an Oanda web playlist. 
So if you use a web-based version of this platform or you plan on trading from the go, feel free to check that out for some pointers, they may help you out. Other than that, we hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.